Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we are going to take up another very interesting and challenging question from algebra. Here we have to find the largest real solution of the given equation. So let's get started by writing our denominators cannot be 0. So we can write x cannot be 3, cannot be 5, cannot be 17, cannot be 19. Now we will add 4 to both sides. So 4 plus in LHS plus 4 in RHS. So from RHS we will cancel plus and minus 4. Now 4 in the LHS we will write 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So I can write our LHS 3 over x minus 3 plus 1 plus 5 over x minus 5 plus 1 plus 17 over x minus 17 plus 1 and 19 over x minus 19 plus 1 equal to x square minus 11x. Now we will take LCM. So I can write here 3 plus x minus 3 in the numerator and x minus 3 in the denominator. So plus 3 and minus 3 from the numerator will get over. We will write only x over x minus 3. Here I will write plus x over x minus 5. From this bracket we will get x over x minus 17 and from last bracket we will get x over x minus 19 equal to x is common. So we will write x times in the bracket x minus 11. Now x equal to 0 is clearly one root of the equation or one solution of the equation. So we can remove x from both the sides and write x equal to 0 is our first real solution. So we can write in place of x we will write 1 now. 1, 1, 1, 1. And we have to write here x equal to 0 is our first real solution. Now we will club these two terms from LHS all together and we will club these two terms all together and we can write 1 over x minus 3 plus 1 over x minus 19 plus 1 over x minus 5 plus 1 over x minus 17 equal to x minus 11. Now we are going to take LCM. So I will write in the denominator x minus 3 times x minus 19. In the numerator x minus 19 plus x minus 3. So we can write 2x minus 22 plus. Here we will take LCM and write x minus 5 times x minus 17 in the denominator. And in numerator we can write x plus x is 2x minus 5 minus 17 is minus 22. RHS is x minus 11. Now we can take 2x minus 22 common from both the numerator terms. So we will write here 2 times x minus 11. 2x minus 22 is 2 times x minus 11. Then in other bracket we can write 1 over x minus 3 times x minus 19 plus 1 over x minus 5 times x minus 17 
इक्वल टू एक्स माइनस इलेवन नाउ इफ आई विल पुट एक्स इक्वल टू इलेवन सो इट विल सेटिस्फाई अवर इक्वेशन अगेन आई विल राइट एक्स इक्वल टू इलेवन इज सेकेंड रूट ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन एंड वी कैन रिमूव दिस सो आर एच एस विल बी वन ओनली नाउ वी हैव टू सिंप्लीफाई दिस करली ब्रैकेट सो आई कैन राइट हेयर टू टाइम्स देन आई विल मल्टीप्लाई एंड आई कैन राइट एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस नाइनटीन एक्स माइनस थ्री एक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी टू एक्स माइनस थ्री टाइम्स माइनस नाइनटीन प्लस फिफ्टी सेवन न्यूमरेटर इज वन प्लस वन ओवर एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सेवनटीन एक्स माइनस फाइव एक्स वी विल गेट माइनस ट्वेंटी टू एक्स वंस अगेन माइनस फाइव टाइम्स माइनस सेवनटीन इज प्लस एट्टी फाइव एंड आर एच एस इज इक्वल टू वन now i will take our substitution let me write this equation here here it is now we will write two times one over we will write x square minus 22x and 57 we can write 71 minus 14 so 71 minus 14 is 57 Plus one over x square minus twenty two x eighty five is seventy one plus fourteen. RHS is one. Now we will use substitution. X square minus twenty two x plus seventy one. So let us say x square minus twenty two x. Plus seventy one equal to y. So we can write two times in the bracket one over y minus fourteen plus one over y plus fourteen. Y is x square minus twenty two x plus seventy one. RHS is one. Now we will take LCM. so we will write denominator y minus 14 times y plus 14 in numerator y plus 14 plus y minus 14 so i can write y plus y 2y and here we will write times 2 rhs is 1 now we can use difference of two squares identity in the denominator so numerator of lhs becomes 2 times 2y is 4y and denominator will be y square minus 196 so we will write here 4y over y square minus 14 square so i will write 196 equal to 1 now we have to cross multiply so we can write y square minus 196 Equal to four y. Now I will take four y to the LHS and minus one ninety six to the RHS. So we will be getting y square minus four y and RHS would be plus one ninety six. Now I will add four to both sides. So I will write here plus four. This side also will write plus four. so from left hand side will be getting one perfect square of y minus 2 and rhs is 200 now we are going to take a square root both sides so we will write y minus 2 equal to square root 100 is 10 so we can write plus minus sign 10 square root 2 now we need to add 2 to both sides to get the value of y so y will be equal to 2 plus minus 10 square root 
Now y was our substitution. X square minus 22x plus 71. So I will write here x square minus 22x plus 71 which is our y and this would be equal to 2 plus minus 10 square root 2. Now we have to solve one quadratic equation and if we will use factorization method or quadratic formula method then this method is not going to be easy. So we are going to use completing the square method. I will subtract 71 from both the sides. So plus 71 and minus 71 from left hand side will be over. We will get x square minus 22x. This would be equal to 2 minus 71 is minus 69 plus minus 10 square root 2. Now I will add 121 a square of half the number of coefficient of x. So half of 22 is 11 and a square of 11 is 121. So I will add here 121 in LHS. So we have to add 121 in RHS. Now LHS will give us one perfect square once again. So I will write here x minus 11 whole square and RHS would be 121 minus 69 52 plus minus 10 square root 2. Now we will take square root both sides. So I can write x minus 11 equal to plus minus sign square root of 52 plus minus 10 square root 2. Now we will add 11 to both sides. So let me write here plus 11 plus 11. So from LHS we will cancel minus 11 with plus 11. It will be left with x only. And in RHS we will write 11 plus minus square root of 52 plus minus 10 times square root 2 and here we are getting four solutions. So first solution was x equal to 0, second solution was x equal to 11 and third, fourth, fifth, sixth solution is here. Let me write all the six solutions first. So I will write here x equal to 0, our first real solution or we can write x1 x2 is 11, our second real solution, x3, x4, x5, x6. I will write 11 plus minus square root of 52 plus minus 10 square root 2. So out of these six solutions, if I will notice that, then out of these six solutions, we are having the largest solution. Once we will consider both the signs positive here. So largest solution would be 11 plus square root of 52 plus 10 root 2. And this is our final answer. If I will write here, I can write largest solution would be 11 plus a square root of 52 plus 10 square root 2. This is our final answer. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.